With three huge points on the line, the Leopards come from behind to earn a 2-1 win over Colgate. I'm Adam Dubrovolski. We'll be joined by our captain and player of the match in just a minute. But first, head coach Dennis Bond and coach, obviously uh, a tough situation being down by one going into half. But what did you see from the team that gave you confidence that this comeback was happening? Just, you know, we've been in this situation a lot this year and the boys have never quit. So I knew that if we stuck to our game plan, we kept being aggressive and, and the guys kept putting the energy in uh, that we were going to produce some chances and, uh, and we made two plays and were able to get back into the game. Sometimes it just takes that one magical moment. Diego Gomera Tavares, a long shot, rolls it in right off the post, uh, the left post. That, that type of shot obviously is not something you always expect, but obviously a huge spark. How do you think the team responded to equalizing and really uh, ramping up their offense? Yeah, I mean, uh, we had Colgate on their heels, so they were sinking in, but sometimes it's tough to score when the other team does that. And they gave us a shot from distance. You know, we knew we were going to have to make a play to make it 1-1. We did. And then just the constant pressure that we were able to keep on them, um, you know, I think really was it gave us the chance to generate the second one as well. Congrats on the win, Coach. Thanks, Adam. Appreciate it. And now our player of the match, Kristen Moist, and obviously a situation, you draw the penalty, you get the penalty kick. What are you thinking when you're going up one-on-one -on -one against the goal? Are you just trying to fake him out and find the open space? Uh, no, uh, I knew where I was going when uh, I stepped up to the uh, ball, and uh, I just wanted to keep a cool head and bury it for my team. Obviously, a uh, situation here, second consecutive home match, you come back to win. What are you starting to see from, obviously, your center back, but what do you see from the offense that is starting to build this uh, don't give up mentality? It's just a fight. We've been uh, preaching it all season, but we, we, we finally got into that rhythm, and just a sense of fight has, has gone all over the team, and especially the forwards. Now, I know Diego had to leave due to some cramps with his leg, but he scores that goal. Uh, and you guys have been working a lot on, on this, the back line as center backs. What is it like to see uh, you and Diego, two center backs, get goals in the same match? Oh, it's amazing. Uh, you know, you would love for, for forwards to get all the goals, but it's, it's always amazing uh, being a center back and having, you know, other people score goals and uh, make plays for us. Well, that's now three for you on the season. And I'll ask you, Chris, the same thing I asked Coach, what's going to be the key to get ready for a midweek match, short rest against Navy? Uh, it's a quick turnaround, so we have to take our day off. We have to really rest up. And then when we go back to work on Monday, we have to you know, focus in the video room, the locker room, out in practice, and we just have to do the right things. Congrats again on the win, Chris. Thank you. So after Chris Moise's goal, gives it a 2-1 to one win for Lafayette. They'll try to get three more points. As mentioned, it is a midweek game in Annapolis against Navy. Next home match for Lafayette will be next Saturday for Senior Day. Until then, for the Lafayette Sports Network, I'm Adam Dobrovolsky.